Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these Delica Beads Brick Stitch Anchor Earrings. They are easy to make and I'm providing a pattern so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Those earrings were suggested by my bidding friend Marta that commented under one of my posts in my community and uh, she said she wants to see nautical theme and I decided to start with an anchor and I think July is a perfect month for that. So thanks to Marta and to all of you that comment. I appreciate your support and your ideas so much and I always like you to send me pictures of your work on my Facebook page posted below to share it on my community tab. So yeah, it's a good idea to subscribe also not to miss anything that I post and to be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and and link to my second channel with the fast clips. If you don't want to listen to this intro every time, just skip it. Now I have timestamps. And now guys, we're going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads, white, red and black. They are from the brand Mayuki Delica Beads and they are really even like small cylinders. If you wanna know where to buy similar beads from, find them in the link in description. Here are two earring findings. This is a pattern that I provide especially for this video and ed that I did myself and here at this corner and down there in description you will see a tutorial on how to make your own beading pattern. You could check it out. This is nylon thread, the brand is Naimo and the thickness is 0.2 millimeters which is size D and it is in white color. Here I'm using also scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to stretch it because the nylon thread should be stretched before it start working with it and if you want to know more about the different threads here is a tutorial also that you could check later you will have it down there in description as well now i'm going to start with the work itself okay and how i start this work I started with this pattern and with brick stitch. If you're not familiar with following patterns and brick stitch, don't worry, I'm showing step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it. Okay, so this is the first row I'm gonna be doing and it consists of 11 black Delica Mayuki beads and you will see the pattern also here at this corner. So now I will take the first two of this row of 11 I'm going to slide those down, leaving a small tail here, let's say 8 inches of tail, which is about 20 centimeters, because later I will put my needle on it and I will finish my work. Okay, and as I'm exiting here, I'm going back through the first of those two blacks and see how, how they sit next to each other not on top of each other but next to each other because I'm going back in circle through them. Okay, now I will go through the second one again. Okay, and what I said when I was showing you the pattern is that we need 11 of those beads, okay, that is why I'm taking the third one and I'm going back again in circle. It is the same movement like I showed you before back in circle and make them sit next to each other. You see here some thread bridges are formed that we're gonna be using later. Okay, then I go through the third one. I will show you the next two and let you do this by yourself until the end. It is absolutely the same thing. Now I have four, now I have five. Okay, now see you when I have 11 
Okay guys, and I'm just adding the same way I showed you the 11th beat from this row and don't worry not all the rows are like this this is just the first row the next ones are really pleasant and now what i want to do is reinforce this row and how i do this i go back through all of the beats in the other direction i'm just zigzagging through them and going back where i started If it's too fast for you, feel free to pause the video or to rewind it and so on and so on. And now I'm exiting here where I started and I want to turn my work this way and start the brick stitch. You could definitely do this work with the peyote stitch, but now I'm showing it with brick stitch. So I'm working in this direction. If I was doing peyote, I would do I would go in this direction probably I would start from somewhere here then go back here and then continue in this direction okay so now for the brick stitch as I'm exiting here guys I will be making an increasing brick stitch what this means is that the second row here is wider than the first row and the gray here I will replace with red Okay, so now I will start adding my beads. I will start with a black and a red first. Okay, and I'm taking my black and a red and I always start the brick stitch with two beads. And then what I do is that I go through the first thread bridge here. You see those beautiful thread bridges between my beads and I go through the first of them because I will increase. When I increase, I always go through the first one. If you're not familiar, just follow the steps and I'm sure you're going to be figuring this out soon. Okay. I will, I'm fixing them a little bit. And as they are attached here, I will go under the red one. Okay. I have my first two attached. And here, what I need to add are... 10 red beads in total. Here I have 10 red beads. One is already added, so I need to add nine more red beads and one black at the end. Okay, I will show you how I do this now. I start adding them one by one. Okay, I add one under the next thread bridge and then I go back through it. Then I take another one and I go under the next thread bridge and I go back. Then again, okay, I just go under the thread bridge and then back through the beat. You see? Maybe I should turn it in this direction to be more visible. Okay, one bead, go under this thread bridge, pull, and then go back through it. Okay, like this, and now here I have one, two, three, four, five. I will make five more and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and as I continued, here I am at my ninth, uh, sorry, tenth red bead. Okay, then I take one black, and you see the thread bridges are over, but I want to add this last one. And how I do this, I go under the thread bridge here that I already have been through with the red one. So I'm adding two at my last thread bridge and then I go back through the black one again as usual. Okay, now I have two rows and you know the principle. This is the principle of increasing brick stitch and I will show you increasing up to the center. 
okay so now i will be doing this row which is black and red and then a lot of whites and red and black so i will start with black and red and you know what to do go under the first thread bridge here and then back through the red one now i have another color here and this color is white and i have nine white beads and i will show you the first one you see under the thread bridge okay and the other eight you will do by yourself okay and now i have nine white beads and now i need a red and a black and i'm going to take a red and then a black and i'm adding it at the same thread bridge here Now you see something that I forgot to mention is that it's easier for me to go in this direction when I start the next row. That is why I flip my work. But if it's easier for you, you could definitely go in this direction. Okay, now I'm flipping. And here I'm at this row, which is black, red, 10 whites, red and a black. I will show you the first two steps which are to take black and red and then go under the first thread bridge then to take one white go under the second thread bridge And I want to add nine more whites, a red and a black, and I'll be back. Okay, and if you haven't done this by yourself, you could pause this video now and pick black, red, ten whites, red and a black. And I'm here where I just added my last black at my last step where I'm going through it. And now, as I told you, I prefer to flip my work. It's okay to work in the other direction. And now I'm up to here where I need to add black, red, two whites and two blacks. And I'm going to be showing you this. Okay, black and red. Two whites. two blacks now you see i have this row with the two blacks and now i have seven whites red and black i will take them and i'll be back okay guys and i hope you put seven whites red and black if not pause the video and do this and now i'm going to flip my work but now guys you see i did this row and now when i flip my work in fact this part will come here this is a trick when you flip your work you also flip your pattern because now if you don't flip it you will continue here but you want to start from here you see what i do is that i take a black and a red one two three four five six seven eight whites okay now a black and a red go here
Now you should add eight whites in a row, white seed beads. Okay, continue until you have eight and meet me. Okay, and now I'm adding my eight bead from this row. And you see here, I need to add two blacks, two whites, a red and a black. I will show you two blacks. And I will be back after the two whites, the red and the black. Okay, guys, two whites, red and black. And I'm here at this row. And what I want to do is flip like this. And I will also flip like this, you see. So here I am. And I'm going to be starting this row, which consists of black, red, two whites and a black and I will show it faster Okay, and I'm here up to this point and now I need to add six whites, two blacks, two whites, a red and a black. Pause this pattern, do this and I will be back to show you the result. Okay, and this is the result. Six whites, two blacks, two whites, red and a black. And if you haven't done it, do this now, pausing this video. And you see I'm here where these two blacks are. And I want to flip my work and I want to flip my pattern. Now guys, for this row, I'm going to let you work by yourself. And you could pause it here and do this. It is this row. Black, red, two whites, black, white, black, two whites, black, three whites, black, two whites, red and black. Pause it and do this and I'll be back. Now here is what I have guys. I just added the beads that I mentioned. If you want, pause and do this. Okay, now I want to flip my work. And I also want to flip my pattern. And now I'm up to the widest row of my work, which is this central row. And it consists of black, red, two whites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blacks, two whites, one black, two whites, a red and a black. Pause it and do this if you want. And I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step of this row. Pause and do this if you haven't. And now I'm up to here, you see. And I want to flip my work. And I also want to flip my pattern. And now I'm going to be starting this row. And this row will be decreasing brick stitch. And I haven't shown you this in this tutorial. That is why I'm going to show you how you started. And for the decreasing brick stitch there are just a few differences. First I take the black and the red that I mentioned. Then instead of going through the first thread bridge here between the black and the red, I'm going between the red and the white. Like this. Then I go back here through the red one like before. But there is another difference. You see how they, those beads don't stay next to each other perfectly. That is why I want to make an additional thread path. I go again through the black and I go again through the red. Okay, now they stay perfectly next to each other. And everything else, guys, is the same. So here I'm going to be picking up two whites, black, white, black, two whites, black, three whites, black, two whites, red and a black. Pause and do this. And if you want, you could see from this row because it's the same 
So now you may not need the pattern anymore because you are just mirroring this part and now you're doing this row. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back to show you the next row. Okay, and with the in decreasing brick stitch, here I add just one bead at my last thread bridge. This is because uh, the number of beads is smaller here. Okay, so now guys, I'm up to here. And uh, if you haven't added these beads, it's now time to pause and do this. Okay, so now I'm going to flip and I will also flip my pattern and I'm going to be showing you the second row of decreasing brick stitch. I will show you the first steps because they are different and I'm adding black, red and a white. First I start with a black and a red and then I go here under the second thread bridge, not between the black and the red, but between the red and the white. This is one of the differences. Then I go as usual through this red and the other difference is to fix this bead here, not to stay like this. They are stretching because they're going under the second thread bridge and in order to stop this stretching you need another thread pad and reinforcement then as we said it comes a white bead it's the same thing from here on just the second thread bridge and reinforcement when you decrease okay so i'm here at the second row of decreasing and what i need to take are Two blacks, uh, two whites, a black, one, two, three, four, five, six whites, two blacks, two whites, a red and a black. Pause and do this. I'm sure if you have done it up to here, you will be able to do this by yourself until the end. If you need the pattern, just pause on it and use it and I'll be back when I'm up to this row. And I just want to show you the progress of my work row by row. This is the next and the next row and the next row and the last row guys which will consist of 11 black beads like here and it's also a decreasing break stitch. See you in a while. And here I am where I'm adding my last 11th black bead from this row, the same way I showed you before. And now what I want to do is attach my earring finding. And how I do this, I want to go here at this side where the upper part of my anchor is and I'm going to take my earring finding and I'm taking one seed bead then my earring finding then one more seed bead okay this is what I have and as I'm exiting through this black bead I'm going back in circle through the same black bead okay just like this and now I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, and after I'm done, I will be zigzagging through my work. You could make a knot if you want, but if you don't want any visible knots, you could go just zigzagging through the beads. This will also work instead of a knot. When you zigzag, be careful your thread not to show okay 
and now as I've been a lot of times through my beads you could go even more times I will cut my thread now I will put my needle here at this side I will do the same zigzagging and I will cut my thread. Okay guys, so now my nautical anchor Delica beads earrings are ready and if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often with new tutorial usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages thank to marta that suggested this video thank to all of you that watch and comment you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me